Yeah, welcome everyone to uh, day two of Seed Story Cup 4. I will be uh, starting the, the broadcast off with the Orange and Firebat. Um, how are you doing, Orange? I'm doing good. Feel good about we both went through yesterday, so That's gonna right. be happier today. I yeah, mean. you you both uh, did pretty well. You lost to Purple, but yeah. I mean, you're friends. You've been friends for a while. Oh now, yeah, so yeah. It's like whatever. We were shit talking the whole match. It was awesome. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it doesn't yeah, really matter, right? Yeah. Um, so that was really fun. Really enjoyed playing against him. Happy I finally made it out of groups. Yeah. Happy to be here, like casting. We got Oskaka, and uh, he's playing up against Lothar. Yeah. So uh, we'll have uh, you know, there's four groups for day two. There were four groups yesterday. We have 32 players in groups of uh, four, respectively. So we're gonna be casting group E uh, for the first group of the day and I think group G for the next one. So we'll see in the first match it's going to be uh, Oskaka versus Lothar. So Oskaka is like uh, the big name right now I guess after winning BlizzCon. World champion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just like a few days ago like yeah. uh, four or five days ago I think just uh, took it and uh, you've been there. I've been there so before you, yeah. How does it feel? Like how do you think it feels? Just like confident or does, oh, he, does, yeah. does he care about uh, beating I've Lothar? Been, I've been talking to him in the basement a little bit near the like, where the poker table right. used to be. And he seems very, very, very confident. Maybe too sure. confident. It could, like, end up hurting him a little bit because of how confident he is. He, he doesn't think anyone can even compete with him right now. All right, overconfidence is yeah. a flimsy shield. It could be. Could be. Yeah. Um, or he might be right. It, it, it's not like <laughs> o, o, Oskak is usually like this person yeah. that uh, it isn't li like that. He is usually like, yeah, anything could happen. Like anyone could win, mm -hmm. but. Who knows? Maybe they got to his head. I, I think it's the I, I call this the Kalento syndrome, right? The Kalento uh, syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> like at well, first well you're like, yeah, I guess there's some RNG, and then you kind of do super well for a while, and you're like, well, whatever, I'll just crush everybody. Uh, the, yeah. best, the best interview I've seen so far in an esports event is still Kalento at, on, <laughs> at Star Ladder. They're like, hey, Kalento, you just lost two series in a row. Why? Why did you lose? And he just like looks at her like, what are you even asking me? Like. It's all R and G. No, no, it was better than that because she said, "Why do you think you lost, Kalento?" Oh, yeah. And he says, "Luck." And she says, "Sorry, what?" And he says, "R and G." <laughs> yeah, it's so like, good. R and G. Like, how how could you not understand what I just said? Yeah. Um, that yeah. was pretty well, funny. Well, and you had to explain, uh, you know, some some of that on the BlizzCon stage. You had to explain why you didn't make it to BlizzCon. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, I know. <laughs> that was a that was a, a sh that was a heart question, man. Like yeah, I'm like here at BlizzCon volunteering my time, and they're just like, "Why do you suck?" And I was just like. Oh, thanks, Rachel. I'm, I'm glad I suck. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just I'm bad. I, we, and, uh, not only that. Please explain why. Yeah, please suck. explain. Yeah. Like, like I answer like RNG or whatever. She's like, go into more details. Really, just dig in there and just make fun of yourself for an hour. That's what that's what a hundred thousand people want to hear. So, I mean, <laughs> this is what I love sometimes about Hearthstone interviews is that. Like, you know, you have to kind of wing it. You have to get, like, correct answers. Yeah. But deep down, sometimes you want to elaborate on it, but you really can't because sure. it sounds uh, a little too salty, right? Yeah. You're, you risk just uh, turning into Reyna. That being said, um, onwards to the first match. So, Askok, I mean, Lothar hasn't be really been playing into, uh, you know, as a player in many yeah. events. Yeah. He's managing, managing two right yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, and he's doing a pretty good job of it. Yeah, you know, not only Hearthstone. Is amazing. Like, he's managing yeah. Hearthstone, and I think he's doing a lot of work with CSGO yeah. and some of the other teams. Yeah, so, exactly. he's been... He has like a full plate of stuff to do. So Hearthstone's probably not the thing that's in the front of his mind right he, now. Yeah, he was really busy yesterday. He's also just been casting a lot lately. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's right. managing, casting. He, he does everything but yeah. playing, I guess. Modeling, <laughs> yeah. like whatever oh. Lothar does, you know? Hey, there's that too. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, God. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if one day he just picked up a modeling job. It doesn't mean Roller Dead, like... I think that's that, what he that, does. Yeah, yeah. 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 G2 I'm pretty modeling. sure. Yeah, G2. I'm pretty sure that's, that's already happening. happening. That's their, their modeling division. Okay. Pick that up. Apply now. He's not only is he the chief, but he's also like the only model in the team as well. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. he's got a lot of weight to hold there. Yeah. Holding down that whole department. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he does have to compensate for the rest of the G2. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, wow. Fine. That was that was rude. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Everybody and these two guys we're, just agree casually. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we're, 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 like, yeah, yeah, you're right. Wait, what did you just say? We're off to a good start. I like where this is going. Uh, okay. All right. That being said, the players are getting ready, sort of. I know Lothar was talking with RDU. Um, I'm guessing they must be discussing matchups. A lot of uh, the players have brought Warrior. Yeah. In the Because uh, this is last hero standing against. For those of you who don't know uh, what's going on, uh, it is going to be you know format with a ban. So yep. people are bringing four decks, uh, three of which they can play, and one of them gets banned. Yep. So you can actually go back to the olden days, I guess, of Hearthstone initially, where everybody was playing uh, last hero standing. And uh, actually, about that thing, like, what are your thoughts on the format overall? The the last hero standing over Conquest? Uh, I think it's a more skill-intensive format. I mean, you have to prepare one additional deck, so that adds another element right there. You need four sure. decks instead of three. 
there's a band involved, so that means you got to think about things like how can band like exploit my lineup? How can they set up a band to like three o sweep me? Things like this. Whereas Conquest, you're just kind of like, well, they can't sweep me with anything. So as long as I play three decks that can all get a win, I'm good to go. They don't need yeah. to really have too much synergy or anything. Whereas in Conquest, you, I mean, in last year's standing, you really got to worry about how does my opponent's lineup work against mine, and how afraid am I of getting sweeped? Yeah, do I have yeah. like any counter decks? Oh yeah, uh, yeah I, can, I can give a different perspective on this because I I started being successful when Conquest came around. I wasn't like very good at last year's standing, and then trying to prepare for this event, I was preparing with Firebat, and uh, like. Every time I thought I had like, okay, so now I have like a great idea. This lineup is going to be great. And I just told Firebat about it. He's like, oh <laughs> He's no, sorry. That really sucks. You should do this instead. I'm like, yeah, you're way smarter than me, Firebat. Thanks. Yeah, but so. it, it's a really different thing. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily know it as a player who's not involved in the, you know, the, because on ladder it's effectively, you know, one mat, like one game at a time. Uh, so you really don't notice the big difference that goes on creating a lineup. Like building yeah. a lineup is very different from building a deck. Absolutely. Because uh, your yeah. first deck has to line, you know, uh, line up pretty well with your second one and then mm -hmm. the third one. The biggest yeah. example of this in this format is uh, Freeze Mage being a factor of possibly sweeping your lineup. Right. Yeah. You need to have two decks that can counter Freeze Mage because they can ban one of them. Yeah. So that's why Warrior is so popular because that's a go to counter to Freeze Mage. Any version of Warrior, and you just throw in Druid in your lineup and you're good to go against Freeze Mage. You can build the rest of your lineup without having to worry about that possibly sweeping you. So the one exi like the existence of Freeze Mage alone forces people into Warrior, which explains Basically, why yeah. we've seen so many of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we had a lot of Resident Sleeper matches yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it, it's fun for the beginning because you see it ramp up, but then if it's Patron Warrior, like per Patron versus Control, it gets a little you know lengthy sometimes. But I like the long games. It's yeah. fun. You got to yeah. like count all the cards. Soon we're going to have Reno Jackson involved. So then oh counting God. all the cards yes. and paying attention. Oh man, the expansion. That's gonna be, it's going to be sweet. <laughs> I, I just saw Twitter was all about Reno Jackson yesterday. Kibler was tweeting about it. And Mirable was tweeting about it, just how good their Reno Jackson decks were. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm you excited. wouldn't know it from reading Reddit. No. But it turns out it's a good card. Uh, well, right now. Maybe. I, yeah, exactly. I, I, I would not have guessed. Okay. That it was a good so, card. I mean, it, it, you don't even have to build Highlander, right? It's just yeah. Well, there's, there's you some, don't have to, but depending yeah, like, on how much cycle is in your deck depends on how like likely the card is to be effective. Because if you can yeah. reduce the amount of cards in your deck, the more likely it is to be one of them remaining in your deck. So right. That's why it fits perfectly in things like Freeze Mage, which is all about cycle. You get down to like five cards. Yeah. I, I think the and that's the, when you want to heal too. The math too. said something like uh, you have a five percent chance of not being able to play Reno down to five. Like if you've got five cards left. Um, it's like 5% ish. So you're probably going to be getting You're probably going to get him. Yeah. And that's a heal for 29. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Casually yeah. before Casually. the double eyes block. Single yeah. time. Yeah. Consistently. Consistently, yeah. Yes. Reno might make Freeze Our Mage uh, disappear. Really? Well, not disappear, but it's a decent tech. You put it in like one of your decks. So. I think it helps Freeze Mage because it goes in Freeze yeah. Mage. Yeah, but you can also play it against Freeze Mage. Okay, so Alex, like, you, you play this, you're like, okay, well, sorry. Yeah, but like, what deck's gonna, what deck can fit it besides like Freeze Mage? Like Fatigue maybe, Mage. <laughs> Fatigue Mage. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's play it with okay. Big 800. And, uh, okay, don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> <laughs> We're going oh, deep. Go. So that being said, Lothar is seated and Askaka is seated. Right. We're gonna yeah. be uh, probably moving on to the next match and uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So, uh, do you know these players like uh, preferences as far as lineups? And, uh, I was talking to Oskaka, it sounded like he had, his focus has been on BlizzCon, right. so... And come back into that yeah. one drop and change drop, things up. Yeah. It, I think it actually really helps the class. Oh, yeah. Different. I think that someone called it being the best card in yeah. the League of Explorers, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. I put it as my number one card. I think it's going to like actually do the most. Yeah. Just 
having two extra one drops is insane. It's insane. Yeah. yeah, exactly. The consistency yeah. about getting it and taking the early game board control. What I, I love is that it curves like with uh, the golem, which is already yeah. pretty crazy. And you can even justify like a one Stormforged axe if you're expecting shield at mini bots, because you can pop the the shield. It gives you like three two drops with overload that you can maybe. Uh, okay. Also, I guess I can play. see it. Yeah, I, I, it's really clunky, but you have but to <laughs> guarantee that you're gonna play. A, a card that's uh, almost, a, a card that's uh, people tend to forget is also Unbound Elemental. That card yeah. is like really good, and but it just like it Actually, wasn't worth true. it that's like right. building a car a deck around it because it just was just like one card and overload is not a very powerful effect. But now with this one drop too, I think that is certainly viable. Right. Yeah, there's like some really they have a lot power. Of health. It's and, like, all coming together, all yeah. the pieces. Yeah, you, 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 you want to play Fireguard Destroyer, Totem Golem is a good card, like stuff like that. Lightning yeah. Bolt is not terrible. You can have Tempo as Shaman? Yeah. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, it's like the perfect class. It, on paper, it looks yeah. like the perfect Lothar's class. Lothar up. disappears. Okay. Um, up. Yeah. Loader's He's waving like, to the admins. We have some drama, conflict. Yeah, yeah. it's all right. Exciting. Exciting. He's like, nah, I'm a bit nervous. The world champion and all. Can, can I please have four, five more minutes? Five more minutes to prepare. I need to redo my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I am a model. I you? am a model, guys. Yeah. Let's calm down. Not even I do that. <laughs> okay. You're like, please pause. I like to yeah. fix my hair before this match. I will be on camera. Yeah. Priorities. All right, he's returning to the chair. Seems oh. like we figured it out. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, um, but it's all right. I mean, when you're versing the world champion, you need to have good hair. I'd like, at least I had good hair, right? At least I had good hair. If I'm going to go out, at least I'm going to do it in style. Lothar Jenkins. <laughs> at least I had good hair. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, goodness. That oh was so God. dank. All right, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get today. The memes. Uh -huh. uh, I got to say, honestly, that the energy here at Seed Story Cup is pretty cool. Like, people oh, yeah. are, it's a really... Like, an awesome event. Yeah. Like, every seat sit story back. has been, like, really good. And then yeah. this one, like, the space is just, like, five times, right. ten times as much. Yeah. There's so, so much room to, like, yeah. chill. So, for those that are, have not watched seat story earlier, like, usually we're, like, it's... The yeah. area yeah. is, I think that the area we're in now is, like, 12 times bigger than the, yeah. right. the, it's and insane, than the yeah. one we're usually in. Right. And, like, so the only complaint about seat story has really been, like, the space. And now they just fix that. And, like... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, this, on one end, like great. on one end, you're forced to to be with people when it's smaller, yeah. um, which I guess sometimes is bad because you, you feel like you're all cramped up. But it's also pretty cool, right? Because you're always interacting with like everyone in the scene. Yeah. And uh, sure. Hearthstone being pretty casual, it's like everybody's nice. Yeah, everybody's really mostly, nice. Mostly, yeah. everyone's but, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna I mean, go. You're you're, pretty, you're you're pretty mean, but. Oh. <laughs> Wow. wow. Well, I, I thought you were nice, oh, but yeah, now yeah, after yeah. that comment, like, yeah. I don't know, maybe maybe Noxious is a dick. I don't, well, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this year, this year's got very awkward. Jeez. So, um, I, I don't nice know what guy, Skaka though. and Lothar are doing right now. I mean, they, they did submit their decks already. Yeah. I mean, right? Yeah, I hope they're not doing that. So, yeah. I don't know if uh, right now we're winning on anything. Oh, here we from go. It. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh, oh man. Heck? Wow, look at that. Look at that oh, oh, Skaka with the world champion bling there. Okay. So like, he doesn't yeah. have his trophy with him. Pimping it up um, after being the world champion. But yeah. He broke the trophy. The you hear about that? Yeah. Yeah, he was at the after party. He accidentally like, just kept dropping it. Oh, he, yeah. he dropped it so many times that oh. it actually broke into three separate pieces. Yes. Three trophies. And three one. trophies. And, than one. and then he threw it into the trash. And then he threw it out, yeah. yeah. And then Blizzard told him that trophy was worth five grand. Yes. Yeah. And they were like, he was like, whoops. And yeah. they're like, we have replacements, but we hate you. Yeah. Oh, they're not going to give him the replacement? Oh, did they got to no, they, they oh, give him the replacement? Will. They okay, still hate okay. him, though. <laughs> yeah, that you, is... you fucking broke a 5K trophy. I, I might take, uh, like, I'll take the pieces just for collection's sake. And then, you know, 20 oh. years down the line when Hearthstone is still around. You could, like, super glue it together or Yeah, something. and I'm like, like, I totally got this from the world You should champion. go back to that trash can and find that trophy. <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah. You, what you are we doing here? He, he gave me this as a thanks for... Our, for me helping him. He, yeah. <laughs> it was a really w rough evening, but yeah. he really loved me. Okay. And he was like, he wasn't drunk at all. And he, oh. he wasn't like, oh no, he wasn't drunk. Uh, uh, Oskaka is very nice when drunk. That's right. Yeah. Not everybody is. I mean, <laughs> not everybody. <laughs> yeah. Most people are. Okay, so let's not Hi. play more about the players while they're drunk. Let's. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. What about Lothar uh, right now? He's. Uh, he looks, he's chilling. He, he's looking ready, man. Yeah, he looks confident. I'm. Yeah. He doesn't I look like he's versed in the world champion. He looks like he's playing a rank 20 game on ladder. Oskaka is rank 20 on ladder. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> he, he doesn't play ladder. He just practices. Okay. People, right? That right there is a face of confidence if I've ever seen one. Yeah. That hair. 
that, that hair. That hair. I'm that jealous. Poise. I like yeah. I was gonna say the, the way he yeah he always the, puts elegant. Know, very, the, the pyramid very hands strong, from Lothar yeah. always. It's yeah. like. You can feel the power. Yeah. yeah. Oskaka does not look phased by it at all, but that's just Oskaka. Oh, I don't oh, think oh. I've ever seen no, him no, make no, any yeah, emotion a, ever. Exactly. Blinking. O Oskaka Blinking. has the same facial expression all the time throughout every match ever. Yep. Oh, wow. Well, same facial expression for both these guys as they're both Malfurion. Um, but one <laughs> of them has the wild growth, and the other one is, uh, I mean... One has two wild growth. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you you want to spread... Maybe, like, if they're mulling at the same time, it, it's going to look like they passed it over. I don't, if this one picks it up. Oh, Skaga might be playing Agro Druid, though. He's, we see the Living Roots yeah. there, which is more common in the aggressive yeah. variants, but we don't see any like key-defining cards yet. And this was actually something we talked a lot about, that uh, you, you are a big fan of the Agro Druid, right? Yeah, because I think you it's think favored. it's favored in this, this yeah. matchup. And that's like a huge matchup, because like a lot of people have the same exact decks, and then it can come down to this 50-50. Yeah. And Agro Druid, I think, has the edge by at least like 10, 15%-ish. Well, I think it's, huge a, it's a pretty stone. big one because the curve, yeah. you hit the curve earlier and mm -hmm. Druid still doesn't have the spot removal needed to take Yeah, and that's her. a knife juggler, so that's uh, going to be aggro yeah. Druid. It's got to be. I mean, do you play the Aspirant here uh, just because you can curve automatically with Juggler Living Roots on the following turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah especially, drawing, especially drawing that knife juggler. Even if this is going to get, like, wrapped, you still have a knife juggler follow-up. Oh, and, my God. And if he has Wild yeah. Groves, you have a Shade, and that's pretty huge on turn two. Well, that is really crazy, but I'd now the Keeper of the Grove's got to scare you a little bit, right? Yeah, I, yeah. you're afraid of Keeper of the Grove, so maybe you don't want to go with Knife Juggler Living Roots, but it's just so much power on the board. And what about Swipe, right? You still get swipe, punished yeah. by that quite heavily. So right, Shade... Defensive play, defensive yeah. play. I, I, I like the Shade. Like It's also one of the cards that like grows. You, you get the most reward for playing out as early as possible. Sure. So. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think that the wild growth coming from Lothar uh, made Oskaka redefine what turn he wanted, but now... Yeah, that is a yeah. He's got the plays if he's he wants got the them. Plays. The Druid Mirror is all about getting ahead on board, and it really looks like Oskaka can do just that. Yeah, a swipe would do a lot of work for Lothar uh, if the Living Roots is used for the one ones. Sure, which sure. with a, a juggler, there's a good chance that that's what happens. Um, I mean, you could probably go for Living Roots, Hero Power to pop the Shredder, and then you gotta find, find a way else to do, but. You gotta find a way to use this Innervate, because like mm -hmm. you don't have Ancient of Lores, you don't have like any big cards besides Dr. Boom in your deck, so you want to use Innervate as soon as you possibly can to gain as much tempo as you can. So yeah. he's got to try and figure out a way to use it before he's got no cards left and he's just going to be able to spend all of his cards. I think it's totally fine to Innervate the Living Roots here, but... Yeah, that's it, what I'm thinking. Like, yeah. he's, he's, that's why he's roping this turn. It's not because, like, oh, obviously you don't use Innervate because it's inefficient. It's because, like... When are you going to use Innervate later if all you have is low-costing cards? Because your mana keeps going up and your cards keep staying the same mana right. cost. So you got to find a way to actually get value out of that card before it's useless. So that's think, what he was thinking about. Yeah, and, uh, it eventually decides to he can use it next turn with Lofib instead. And sure. that it doesn't do like a lot this turn. So I, so I agree with the line he took, but it's definitely like... Yeah, think about it for sure. You, yeah. you watch out for Swipe, right? I mean, if you play Living Roots just for the one ones right now... Um, you're still playing into Swipe, whereas if somehow Swipe has to be used on a board like this, which if there were a Swipe, that might happen, Maybe. then uh, you might be able to get a little bit more value out of the yeah. roots. But I mean, you've got, right now what Askaka's got on board is probably, I want to say, all he's ever going to get. Um, just because after this hand is expended, the odds of him actually like getting a massive threat are pretty slim. There's not that yeah. many in the deck left. Just Dr. Boom, really, and the, I guess yeah. like the Druid of the Claws are also pretty large threats, yeah. any of the five drops. Oh, Whirling Zappa. Yeah, gonna have to answer that somehow. Um, yeah. Living Roots could yeah. be uh, one of the easy ways to do it. Yeah, easily just juggle it twice. Ooh, and actually, uh, Lothar is attacking that Dronassus Aspirant to set up for a good Force of Nature on the next turn, wow. but Lofa on you know, Skaka's hand is gonna yeah. punish that pretty heavily. Yeah, that's gonna be really, really uh, scary if you're Lothar right now. I mean, you don't know that there's no Savage Roar as well, right? So you've got to be very scared of just getting blown out oh, of the yeah. game by that's, a board like this already. That's usually what happens against Aggro Druid. You yeah. just kind of play your things and hope they don't roar you and kill you. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, trading oh. the Aspirant first oh, before I, I, playing a minion? Yeah, he really, really oh. wants to. He wants to go for the low for Living Roots and try to snipe that shade. I like it. Okay, sure. I like it too. And uh, there's no swipe possible because of Lothab. So you've locked, you, like you've got this board on lockdown. Yeah. You've got the Druid of the Saber. If you top deck uh, Savage Roar, you can still play it on turn five. Let's yeah. see if we can hit the last fifty fifty. Oh. oh, but still, Savage Roar yeah. is still going to be a yeah. lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. Uh, and even if it doesn't fi find Savage Roar, it still gets so much yeah. damage. And it's still ten already. And the Aggro Druid certainly has a lot of reach. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, that's the game. The that's it. 
Yeah, that's, oh, that's it. This game he's over. got, the, he's got two with oh. the charge. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't even need the roar. Yeah. <laughs> Finds it. Worst draw in his deck. Worst draw in his deck. Never lucky. <laughs> but <laughs> lethal. Yeah. And this is the reason why Aggro Druid took uh, everyone off guard, I think. I remember like the first iteration that was really popularized was Nimsh. I think he posted like a deck list on Reddit and he got rank one legend. Okay. But it, it, it looked something like something like this. It wasn't exactly the same. Alright. Um, and then it got refined. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like the leper, the addition of the leper gnomes really like made the deck uh, probably one of the most aggressive ones. You used yeah. to think that aggro druid wouldn't work that well, but living roots coming up was like yeah, living roots God, is yeah. so good. That is like deck. a very it's good insane. card. Like early game is one of the best one drops in the game, and then late game it's also like a super strong utility, and it works with knife juggler, so it's just yeah. insane. Yeah, I mean uh, Azure Drake as well, and some of the variants that play mid range. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I've, I've been liking the card in mid range in mid range druid too. It's just like a very very flexible card. It's like even if it's one man, it just still holds. You know, since Bread said a lot of value in the late game. Mm -hmm. and that's like if a card for one mana holds value later on in the game, that's really yeah. all you could ask for. Yeah. So one of the things as well to keep in mind for those of you who like haven't picked up or just joined, uh, this is last year was standing, which means the, oh, yeah. the aggro druid we're gonna see again from uh, from Askaka. Lothar's druid is out, so he's not gonna get to replay. Now he's gonna move on to his other decks, uh, which is kind of painful sometimes if you've got nothing that can handle yeah. this aggro druid very easily. Uh, druid was probably your worst matchup. Yeah, druid was not a good matchup yeah, exactly. for him. So like Oskaka got pretty lucky there in the first pick to have a favorable matchup, and he was able to finish out the favorable matchup, and now. Lothar's got to come back with whatever deck he thinks can best counter it. Yeah. And uh, we're going to see what he chooses to pick for that. Yeah, I didn't see the decks. I think I just kind of skipped over everything. I didn't, I didn't watch. I don't know. We're good casters. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what are they playing? I don't know. Cards? Don't yeah. Know. Well, yeah, sounds about right. I don't think I always paid attention to that. But uh, enough about that. I, actually, I want to touch on that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Druid is like one of the harder decks to counter too because like the deck has so many free wins with just mm -hmm. getting aggressive with like seven, especially the aggro Druid because yeah. like if that just has if Druid just has a nuts innovate start with like a lot of early drops, and your opponent doesn't have like the exact right answers at the right time, like you very easily lose even if you're trying to counter Druid. So sure, sure, yeah. yeah. One of the best counters to the aggro Druid is actually Control Warrior, yeah. which seems really Funny weird, enough, yeah, because right. yeah. yeah. you're like Druid but more aggressive. Shouldn't that just beat Warrior even harder? Yeah. But uh, no, actually, Warrior has a lot of answers to Fell Reaver, which is one of the key cards that he uses, and also just can usually. Hold off the early pressure long but they enough don't for them draw to stall. Cards. That's yeah, the big yeah, issue. That's, they don't have deck. any cycle. Right, so. and they, like unlike hunters, they just have no hero power mm -hmm. to carry them through. So if their minions don't work, yeah. nothing else is gonna work. And that's uh, gonna go. That, like, Lothar's gonna go Paladin with uh, uh, mid Chow. range. It looks yeah, like, yeah. Uh, and Zombie Chow in the starting hand is one of the most important things you can yeah. get. This is a strong pick for sure. Just Zombie Chow insane against any sort of aggressive decks for slowing them down a little bit. And then you got heals for when they start running out of steam. You got taunts to slow them down. Makes a lot. Of sense. Yeah, it's uh, it's funny because you know everybody's kind of complaining about Secret Paladin, uh, but on ladder I agree that that deck is kind of like a uh, you know best of one format. It's, right, it's it, insane. It's yeah. yeah, exactly. In a best of one where you're going in blind, that's mm -hmm. really problematic. But for for the purpose of countering decks, mid range is still a lot better. Uh, like for for the purpose of beating Secret Paladin, that is. So I feel like between both decks, you still hit the curve very well as mid range. Like we can see here. Yeah, that is a good mid range <laughs> curve. Um, like you still hit the curves very nicely. It's you just strong. don't have the the aggression. Instead, you're playing a bit of a slower game, sure. which uh, can help in some matchups. It's got ups and downsides yep, for sure. Exactly. And it's going to help him in this one yeah. most definitely because uh, Agro Druid is actually a hard counter to uh, Secret Paladin. Yeah. Yeah. You just so, flood the board. You just flood the board flood and kill it. him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, Hopefully it is for Lothar's sake, the mid-range paladin, and he's not running some like low secret count one with zombie chows. I mean, we did see um, Dice bring like zombie chows. I know RDU and Ties brought yeah. Uh, yeah, secret paladin with zombie chows, like a very mid-rangey secret yeah, deck. The yeah. full, the full doctor list: doctor one, two, yeah, three, two, four, three, five, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exactly, yeah. all the way up. All the way up. We're just missing Fellraiser in that list. But yeah, it's it's a matter of the time. ultimate doctor five. <laughs> it's a matter of time. Yeah. Well. That is that is insane for Lothar. Now he just needs to pick up muster for battle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and one of the cards that are like so relevant in this matchup is also Alder Peacekeeper because what uh, what the Agrodrake is trying to do a lot of the time is to just uh, get Felry. Yeah, yeah, get get 
keep the board clear with like your little minions and then you just play a Feller Reaver and kill them in a couple of turns. But Alder Peacekeeper is as good of an answer you can get uh, against Feller Reaver yeah. because not only does it like basically neutrali ne neutralize the Feller Reaver, but it also is still it's still in play, so you can still fatigue them in like yeah. a couple of turns. But the worst feeling ever is when you Aldor their Fell Reaver and yeah. then they turn yeah. after they keep you the grow of it, silence yeah. it, hit you in Especially the face. Especially because it curves well, like innervates Reaver on three and then turns yeah. four yeah. keeper. <laughs> You're like, what happened to me and why am I playing this game anymore? Um, this oh, was a really man. good play, by the way, by Oskaka in trading away the the Panther into the Zombie Chow, knowing that if he develops the Shade, um, a coin consecration would completely demolish his board. Sure. And if he goes and wastes, quote unquote, the Innervate on the Druid of the Claw, then um, he's not really getting much done with the Innervates from maybe, you know, using it with the Savage Combatant. Yeah, 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 I really like this. I like trying to set up a situation where you can go Savage Combatant, Innervate, Hero Power, yeah. and then just be able to use that Hero Power for the rest of the game. Just yeah. trying to get into a spot where you can get Savage Combatant down and have it stick is going to be super powerful if that situation comes up and your opponent doesn't have a True Silver to handle it cleanly. That's, uh, it's a kind of interesting uh, card because you don't see it. It's not an auto-include, but mm -hmm. in, in this specific deck it works. I think it's phased out of oh. mid-range though. I think one of the most important parts of having Savage Companion in uh, the Aggro Druid deck is to help you against Freeze Mage. Yeah. Because like Aggro Druid actually isn't that strong against Freeze Mage. It can fizzle out a lot with things like Fell Reavers are pretty useless because they freeze it and mill yeah. your whole deck. So, uh, but uh, if they freeze Savage Combat and you're still hitting him in the face for three. So yeah. you're just like, your hero power just then does so much face damage that you can actually get that little extra oomph that you need required to beat Freeze Mage with this deck. So that's why I think the main tech choice is there. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I, I agree, I agree. So now we see uh, Oskaka picked up the Pilot of Treader this turn, and this leaves him with a lot of options. He has, like, with that inner rate in hand too, he can choose between play Savage Combat and innovate the hero power, as we talked about. Earlier, now yeah. I don't think that <laughs> just piloted shredder looks like a piloted shredder yeah. intervention. Yeah. Good power play. Pop the shield looks okay to me because you would be able to kill the two two, and then muster for battle would be the only thing that really wrecks you, and you can yeah. then curve really nicely on five and six. Yeah, the, yeah it seems reasonable enough. It, it's all right. I don't know. I think uh, I think you kind of want to be holding back the innervate to develop two minions since you have so many high value minions in your hand. But. All right, so you'd wait for like you'd play maybe Shredder now, and then next turn go uh, Savage Combatant, Innervate, Shade on five. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I think Pos it would possibly. be really good. Cause just getting two minions down is so strong most of the time. So yeah, I think just yeah, I like this, I like the Shredder pass. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good for yeah. uh, for Lothar. That is a good card for sure. I can. Uh, Clean up the board quite nicely, huh? It's kind of funny though to think that Paladins used to have one usable weapon in True Silver, and now there's Cog Hammer yeah. there's True Silver, and they want to play Muster, so they can't yeah. use Rod Cog Hammer sometimes. And, and, then, and then the Art yeah, of Lance exactly. has been added, like yeah, two drop. Yeah. That if Cog Hammer didn't exist, some people might try it out. If Minibot wasn't a thing, yeah, you'd have to play that weapon. I, I think Cog Hammer would be like a clear two of in like almost every other class, but Paladin just has. So yeah. many good weapons. That's yeah. exactly that's exactly it. It's insane. Mad scientist. We'll know for sure if there's a secret in that deck. <laughs> yeah. In a moment that's like guaranteed. I'm gonna figure out if his secret's paladin. There's no way. Seeing how he has not drawn uh, any secrets by now, I'm pretty sure that we will not see anything coming out from this. I really time. hope he has a... Uh, wait, Sacred Trial, the new secret paladin. Like, it, it's not being played now, yeah. um, but okay. it turns out that the way it works with Dr. Boom, um, is that the boom bots come out initially, and then Doctor Boom is after? So, so if there's kill a, the seven oh, seven. if there's like another minion already there, it kills the seven it seven. Kill, and the thing is, if you play Secret Pally, you have to play into Repentance something small, and then you can't play Doctor Boom without losing it to Sacred Trial because you're wow. testing for Repentance with something tiny. Then you drop the boom, and it just dies. Yeah, insane. I, I that's did, pretty I, nuts. <laughs> I didn't know about that interaction. That, is crazy. that just made me like that card a lot. More. Yeah, but I'm afraid because Secret Pod is getting more <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, even if the card's not that good, it's just another thing you have to think about, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Reddit is crying in fear. I don't know, man. With Jaraxxus, that thing is going to be pretty funny. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> good battle cries first, and then you die. Yeah. yeah. You face your Rex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, Poor Eredar Lord. I think we got a Lothab here, right? Coghammer clears the board. Yeah. yeah but, but you just got a knot. You develop like so little though is the, yeah. the big consequence to it. You keep but, uh, you keep uh, The shade is very dangerous. Yeah. I mean as I was say you keep a two two and a one one, right? So Yeah. 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 It's alright. It's alright, yeah. But 
That does make uh, combat. Yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, there combat great. can actually come out now, and he can have it stabilized, and that's going to be like something that uh, Lothar is going to pretty much have to find a way to kill. Otherwise, yeah. he's going to be able to just continue hero firing for the rest of the game and do a lot of work. So, do you go combat and innervate keeper in order to, to you know get two minions on the board, or yeah. do you need to keep that keeper uh, for Tyrion uh, coming up in like three turns, two I've, turns rather? I think I just like going for the value hero power here. Okay. Um, okay. We're pretty low on resources at Oskaka right now. With this play, uh, Lothar can't kill the combatant on board, so he has to react to it. And just uh, having, like, I see a way of winning this game with just uh, activating combatant, like for one or uh, like for two or three turns. I see. Okay. And uh, having something powerful as keeper plus hero power next turn, even for something like a low fib. Yeah, that's uh, five damage to one yeah. target. That is huge. Yep. Six mana, deal five damage to a target, develop a two fours. Pretty yeah, good sounds, play. Sounds yeah. pretty sweet. Fire Elemental. Oh, yeah. Uh, got, <laughs> nothing on, got nothing on Keeper plus combat Combatant. Yeah. And then you can Aldor Peacekeeper with Brand Bronzebeard, so they like always have one attack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you double Aldor, that Fell Reaver. All right. Well, then they silence it and remove both Aldor effects, though. Mm. Yeah, then, then you don't only lose one Aldor effect, but two. Two Aldor effects? Oh, you God. Imagine the pain. How do you feel after losing two Aldor effects? You are going to be following the rules. Yeah. Lofo comes down. Wow, that's a that's really sick for uh, for Oscar. Yeah, He's getting a perfect play. He gets to completely kill that while developing a two four, and then push five damage to the face worth of tempo. That's. Yeah. I picked up a second keeper too, so he can do the same thing next turn. Next two. turn too, yeah. <laughs> just whatever he plays, just kill it. Yeah, I thought yeah. he might need it for something like Tyrion. But yeah, exactly. If, now, uh, now we don't even have to fear that anymore. Yeah. Yeah, Savage Combat and getting that guy stabilized is so powerful, but it's not like Lothar could kill it. He can't just justify just consecrating oh, just yeah. a 5 4. Yeah, so I mean, Oskaka's got the lead, um, and it looks like this game so far has gone pretty well for him. This could change things a little yeah. bit if the juggles yeah. hit properly. The juggles could. It's going to be a big deal, though. <laughs> it's. What are the odds, really, though? It doesn't seem very likely yeah. that it's going to fully clear it, but I think you kind of have to go for it. I mean, develop something, and if it's six, then it, all the better. Now you got to be thinking about swipe too. We haven't seen a single swipe come yeah. out from Oskaga's hand, and you're about to just throw an entire board that all would die to swipe. Yeah. To, I, to, to make it even worse, you also turn nine is coming up very soon. Yeah, that is the combo, combo turn. Yeah. And if you want to send this cog hammer into that combat, then like you're you're all earning sixteen. Wow. Yeah, and uh, there's a, there's two cards that have been, I mean, three cards at this point that Askaka has been holding for a while. So you have to assume one of those is probably at least Savage Roar. Doesn't mean Force of Nature is there, but at least one of those two is there. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you got to be thinking about swipe too. Would you Healbot? Then you go to Healbot Hero Power, Aldor to negate the five four. Maybe get yourself. Uh, it feels a little bad. Bit more. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Consecration. Okay. It goes for it. All right. I kind mean, of works, actually, but yeah. if you don't expect the Druid to replenish the board with a bunch of Druids of the Saber or Living Roots right away... Sure. And You're going to uh, try and run him out of resources. You assume he's got the combo in his hand is what Lothar is kind of playing towards. He's got not minions. Yeah. And uh, bad news for him. There's some minions here. <laughs> but, I mean, the juggle, like, by doing this, the knife juggler's value increases a lot because you remove a lot of the high health targets for the follow-up. Sure. Like, in this case, the juggler is actually pretty solid. Yeah. It's not going to win on its own, but it, it, it could. could kill something. Yeah. Oh. Is there a Murloc that could save him? Uh, Murkai would be amazing. Murkai, yeah. Yeah. I still think that this uh, play is good. If you get to snipe down that chain oh, wow. with yeah. the, the four Yuggles, that's huge. It swipes out of the wave now, too. Yeah. yeah. But that's two minions gone with that juggle. I really like the Consecration the more I think about it. Yeah. Sure, there's risk in that uh, you might still get comboed down, mm -hmm. but it's a risk you have to take at this point. Otherwise, you're never getting out of this. Yeah. And it, it paid off for him. It baited out the swipe, which now he's got this huge board. Oskaka's got no swipe remaining to deal with it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you thought it was going to get bad. It just got infinitely worse. Yeah. Um, the Aldor Peacekeeper has already made uh, the Savage Combatant follow the rules, so the Fel Reavers... Fel Reaver is breaking all the rules. Yeah. There's... yeah. I mean, there could be a Quartermaster. Um, it could be. It's totally possible, but maybe Oskaka will play around that. Yeah, he is going to use the Innervate here. Like, Innervate at this point in the game is so bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's not like he's going to draw a 12 drop. No. Oh. No? No. <laughs> not, not, I'm just saying, no, nope, that's not going to happen. I think I'm very correct in oh! agreeing with that. That's Ooh. one of the sickest cards you could have found here. Okay. 
Um, the question is... <laughs> is it good enough? Yeah. Because yeah. you do have to trade away three 1-1s one in order to kill the Fell Reaver. And if you do that, then... The Shade's still around. Like, yeah. like it, do you have incentive to go Quartermaster, Murloc Knight, over Hero Power Quartermaster? Um. Okay, is it possible that your actual good play here would be Quartermaster, kill the Shade, kill the 2-4, and not, like, take 8? That's really scary. Yeah, exactly. it, it really is. Is. You haven't seen either Force of Nature. You got a swipe left. You haven't seen either Savage Roar. You haven't seen yeah. either Living Roots. Li living Roots. You but the thing oh, is, we saw one Living Roots. But they and still then there's yeah. two Sabers. No, one Saber. And yeah. then two Druid of the Claws. That's nine cards. There's a lot of cards in Druid yeah, of the um, We've seen two Keeper of the Groves already. Yes. Yeah. So it's only nine. But the, th but the <laughs> thing is, that, like, no matter what you let only live, you die to those, right? <laughs> You yeah. died to those right. no matter what. Was, oh, those are none of the cards of the that cards kill you. Drew the Sabers one. Eight left. Oh, down, oh down to God. eight. Do, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. He's like, dead. Yeah. There's only like, there's there's no there's only like eight cards left in the guy's there's deck. There's no way he's not dead. Yeah. That, he's dead. I don't, I don't care where this is. Oh, oh it's only oh. boom. He's alive. <laughs> okay. He, well, he dodged a bullet there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to dodge the boom bots. He might not have to. He can kill him maybe, huh? Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Murloc. Old Murloc, man. Do it. Oskake could trade though because yeah. he's got this boom now, so now he doesn't really need to push the face damage. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's a um, solid option to trade here. You, you have enough power on board, you can just kill him in the next turn, yeah. and you don't need a eight damage this turn and risk dying. So yeah, yeah. I'm actually really the odds of him not drawing lethal here with all the cards that yeah. were mailed that weren't lethal already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were like... watching those mills. It's like, oh god, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I there's can't believe this. like there's no way there's another card that doesn't do two damage in his deck, but he found it. All, um, all yeah. those still a very powerful card. Yeah, I think it's got to be trade into the Murloc Knight, drop the Doctor Boom, and uh, hope for the best. So what would be amazing here for Lothar? Um, mm, I mean, Healbot on its own is all like is really good here, just because you can already kill a Fairyver if you want to. The second sure. Alder would be really good. Must that's that's good. It's tank? something. It'll tank the boom bots sure. away from your face. Uh, hopefully, tank hopefully. the boom bots. But uh, uh, Savage Roar still kills him, right? Well, he can mill, you know, six, six oh, cards. Oh yeah, he here. can mill six cards. There we go. Uh -oh. oh, Lofa doesn't do two. Uh oh. All right, that's fine. Oh, oh that's my god, this is not. Rid of. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Cell Reaver is looking yeah. like he's just getting to he's, the wind condition. out the deck, yeah, getting to the damage. <laughs> uh, what do you mean, downside? This is great. Well, yeah. <laughs> getting rid of all those terrible cards that he does not want. Well, let's see if uh, Double Force of Nature Savage Roar gets... What if two Savage Roars get kicked out oh, right no. now? Nope. nope. Oh, one oh, force is gone. Force? There you go. He oh has my both God. roars oh. left. He's yeah. probably got like two cards How left. Many cards he's got like two left. roars yeah, left. Yeah, two yeah, roars left. The deck. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is really bad. Yeah. This is not good. The thing is, is roar lethal. So if you attack a boom bot, you're down to 17. Uh, uh, roar doesn't kill you. It's only 6, so 13. If this hits yeah, you in 14. the face... Oh! 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 Kill him now! Oh, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> didn't happen. I remember someone and, saying oh, that. Oh, it's only swipe. <laughs> oh my god. That kills him too. Uh, everything uh, killed him. Everything killed Yeah, <laughs> his cards remaining were roar, roar, swipe. What? I remember someone <laughs> saying that that muster for battle would tank some boom bots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No way, this just oh happened. Oh my god. god. That was brutal. Oh, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is your world yes. champion. Yeah, that is... That's some true esports being done right there, <laughs> right don't. in front of our eyes. Uh, well, what can you do? Uh, Kids, if you want to win the world championship, do just what you what Oskaka did in that game. <laughs> that was a ridiculous game of hearts. I feel terrible uh, for Lothar right now because oh, yeah. he yeah. hates those so, situations. So, oh, right? so do Who I. doesn't? He, he played super well too. Yeah. I thought like the quartermaster play that with the Murloc Knight, play and then the beta yeah. swipe. Yeah, like he was very well played. Yeah, L Lothar played that really, really well. Yeah, and uh, boom just, bots. Five, six <laughs> targets? It hits four. Yeah, four. Uh, what, it hit three. He was alive. Really? Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah, it was exactly yeah, lethal. Yeah, exact lethal. Exact lethal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that that is uh, painful. Uh, Oskaka is bad, getting man. up for bathroom break. I I guess so. Yeah. yeah right. um, that being said, he is up 2-0 against Lothar right now. So Lothar has to reverse sweep with. I'm not sure what the remaining class is, but all I can tell is that. Like, uh, it might okay. be possible it's to kill the Druid, wait, but wait, wait, finishing the rest. We know Uskaka's cast, or at least I know. It's Uskaka's, he needs to sweep Druid, Freeze Mage, Rogue, and 
Well, those are the three decks. Yeah, yeah. those are the three and, decks. And like, yeah. those are three very different decks. And one deck has to cover all those bases. And hey, that... It's Hearthstone. Yeah, 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 it, it is. Control it Warrior is. could Boombots pull could it hit off. face for four. Sure. Who knows? Control Warrior on its own would pull it off. But there's no way Oskaka didn't ban Warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's in no way case. he didn't. Like, if, uh, if Lothar did have Control Warrior, he would have queued that in the Aggro Druid first. So we know right. right off the bat, his odds are not looking good. Because this is the deck he thought was the best counter against the Aggro Druid. And now that's gone. There might be a free mage as well. We were talking about Lost or Standing, and Lost or Standing is a lot more punishing for losing a favorable matchup than a Conquest is, for example. Like, if you lose a favorable matchup here, like, the, the one deck that he was reliant on, like, winning against Aggro Druid, you're often left with, like, no options right. against, it, against the deck you just lost to. And I think that's what we're going to see happen here to Lodar. Mm. What yeah. if... Lothar didn't attack with the Quartermaster before attack because he attacked to kill the Fell Reaver with Quartermaster. Okay. But he has five health. He oh. could have attacked the Boombot first. Oh, oh that, that's okay. actually true. Improve his yeah. odds a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. <laughs> like, it, it seemed like Boombot Boomba didn't care. Had a mission. He was just like, <laughs> he's like, all right, there's six minions on the field. Right, I have one like, job. I know what it is. I'm a world champion, Boombot. Yeah. So I don't think I don't think it would have affected it at all. I'm a hundred thousand dollars, yeah. Boombot. That is yeah. that Boombot was hitting in the face for four, no matter what Lothar did. He definitely knew where the place is. The face is the place, indeed. Um, I mean, Lothar is going to be feeling a little bit bummed out, uh, but overall it's not as though he's out of it. This is one match out of multiple. It doesn't mean you're going to be out of the tournament at all. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's, a, it's group stage. This is like yeah. the first match of the group stage. He's still going to have to go up against uh, Rekful and Elki, I think. Sure. Uh, before can, the final scores. He could make it. To them. Yeah. 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 All right. So. I lost in groups and made it. Yeah, you yeah. did. So. Yeah, so did I. Yeah. I lost the first one, even. Living proof. Yeah. So don't count and, Lothar out yet. <laughs> last seed story, too. I lost the first match in the group stage, and I didn't lose another game. There you go. Yeah. Humble brag. Yeah. I'm kind of liking <laughs> that. I, I, I felt like throwing that in there, you know. <laughs> okay. Hey, yeah. hey, look at me, everyone. It just fit, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> I'm literally like a turret head right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all I'm doing. Yeah. I'll survive. Hopefully. It's Eat Story. I mean, Never do you want to you switch spots? No, I'm good, uh, man. You sure? The, you didn't see that. I don't know if you saw it, but Wreckful yesterday, you know, he was chilling and he had uh, his legs on my lap. Okay. It felt uh, uh, pretty homely, I guess. Do uh, you want my legs on your lap then? That's what you want. No, no, no. Yeah, but I'm just you saying, feel more comfortable? Uh, we improve make, the make cast it, level? Make, make I, I guess, move. yeah, you know what? I, Add I guess some energy to right, it. Right, right. Yeah. Um, you just need legs in your lap. Yeah. <laughs> Like sort of guy. Anyway, is it Ebola Din? <laughs> no, it's Ebola what? Hunter. I, oh, Ebola I saw Hunter. Horse Rider. I don't know why. It might be hybrid then. Yeah. 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 Could be hybrid. Could well, be if hybrid. there is a class that is capable of free O's, that is Hunter. That's right. Yeah. It could literally just snowball every single match because yeah. it's got a pretty good matchup against uh, the Druid, the Aggro Druid with Unleash the Hounds, Explosive sure. Trap perhaps, if that, that's in there. Um, and then if you go up against a Freeze Mage, it's possible that you pull it off given Horse Rider is such an annoyance. Mm -hmm. uh, early game, you can always get a recurring damage out of it. Yeah, it's definitely one of those cards that can really help swing the matchup, push a lot of damage. Although, as a Hunter player myself, Ooh. I know that seeing a Living Roots on turn 1 making 2 one yeah. ones is not what you want to Absolutely see. Absolutely agree. Yeah. But, he does have the Juggler with a Creeper to pop if, uh, if necessary. And yeah, I just want to... Uh, it, this is so brutal yeah. for Lothar. Like, Living Roots on 1 is terrible for you. Keeper to grow is one of the best cards in the matchup. And Fell Reaver is like the one card they need to kill you. It's yeah, you need yeah. freezing trap by then. Otherwise, yeah, exactly. Hunter's Mark or something would work yeah. too. Yeah, but like even freezing trap is not that great against Agro Druid because the, the deck still has Force of Nature. There's Druid of the Sabers that can trigger yeah. it. There's Druid of the Claw. Druid of the Claw can also Lots trigger of Druid it. Of the things. It, it's very easy to get your Fell Reaver to get through a freezing trap. Mm -hmm. yeah. The fact that Druid is actually not vulnerable to freezing trap anymore is kind of magnificent because it used yeah. to be a hard counter. Yeah, like freezing yeah. trap came down on turn two to three. That's it. You lost. Yeah, you'd keep it off the Mulligan too, right. like yeah. against. <laughs> Yes. sometimes, like yeah. in the old days. Yeah. It's not the case anymore. It, it's one of the reasons why I brought Hybrid Hunter over something like FaZe, because I got to play Freezing Trap, which increases my odds in that matchup. It's, All right. it's a Man really efficiency. good efficiency. I like this play, if only because... Uh, like, if he goes for the Unleash the Hounds, it's you know the best he's going to get for a bit. Sure. And if you play a Juggler, you're... It's just going to die. Yeah, you're yeah. too vulnerable to about everything in the Hunter's deck. I mean, the Druid's deck at this point. Yeah. Especially Coin Keeper of the Grove, because you know that coin's waiting for yeah. you. Yeah. So he's playing around that Coin Keeper of the Grove. Swipe's a little scary, though. 
But, yeah, I mean, uh, it's scary, but at the same time, you are leaving, you know, the, the Panther on one health. Yeah, and then you have so, the Juggler. Exactly. Yeah. So you can probably pull off some... Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> Just when you thought, it couldn't get worse. Just when you thought. <laughs> so now Oskaku, he has Shade, he could play this turn. He's got the Living Roots, he could play this turn, with the Shade, even. Yeah, but, you keep Minion stealth it up, and yeah, there's no way that the Creeper can pop. But does he know what Lothar is playing yet? I mean, it's hybrid, so Houndmaster is probably out of the question. So you know on turn four, the only thing that could be waiting for you is something like Shredder. Maybe you want to keep the Keeper for that and go Shade first. Yeah, after seeing Leopard Gnome, yeah. you, you usually don't uh, suspect something like Houndmaster. Sure, sure, out. exactly. Those mm -hmm. cards usually doesn't go in the same Hunter decks. Yeah, I, I think I'd like to see just the Shade come down and maybe just kind of chill for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Sh shade and chill? Yeah, Shade and chill. There's not too much you can really do with this board, right? It's like none of the trades really feel too appealing. Yeah, you don't yeah. really want to take any of those. So shade is a very passive one, and like keeper can silence the, the thing, but I don't think it does enough. You see living roots come out here. He sees unleash, so I guess he doesn't really care, right? Sure. So yeah. He's gonna use up his coin here. Doesn't want to coin out fail reaver. Doesn't feel like it's necessary because he's curving already with four and five. Yeah, solid line of play. This I said not to be the pantry. It looks like. Yeah. Power shot. Power shot. Oh, power shot would be. Power shot would be dirty. Yeah, it would be good though here. He placed the stealth yeah. next to each other to play around power shot. Yeah. World champion level. Very, very good play. Yeah. I wouldn't have done that. I would have messed that up. Same. I even messed up my shredder placement. Yeah, I could this, never this play good. around a power shot. All right. The juggles go pretty okay. Like this ideally, it would works. kill one of the. One of the stealth guys. Yeah. Well, that is very, that's funny. a very ideal world for sure. It's like a boom, but we hit face or four when there's five minions on board. <laughs> yeah, that never happens. <laughs> uh, like this screen. So yeah. Oskaga's turn. He's got four mana. He's got a keeper of the grove and a savage roar. There's a knife juggler in play. I think we're gonna see that keeper of the grove come down here and ping that knife juggler. I think so too. It's hard to imagine anything else will be done. Uh, Lothar, do, like he does have the animal companion he can use. Um, yeah. Assuming no trades are made by Oskaka, well, apparently he's gonna go for the trades. Yeah. Um, just because the risks of letting beasts stick yeah, around exactly. and just that many minions too, like. Mm -hmm. Four minions, the hunter can sometimes get a Leoc. Yeah, and like then this, the, the trades are too good for you. Well, the trades to the face, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. That's eight. <laughs> the trades to the face. Yeah. Wise words. Yeah, so Lothar is very relieved to not see a swipe there. Keeper is bad for him, but a swipe would just be probably just game over. Um, I, like, I like how much like Oskaka is trading and trying to control the board. Yeah. He has the Fell Reaver in the hand, so like taking a bunch of trades seems really smart to help just value getting board control and trying to maximize Fell Reaver potential. For sure. This is a really good card. It's a crucial card, I almost want to say, from Lothar. Because he's got the option of rolling the dice. So if you get Misha, um, you probably would end up trading into the shade, you know, two spiders. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get Leoc, you're still, you're like in an amazing spot. Oh. But uh, Huffer is... Huffer is basically Misha, but worse. So you might just smark it. After yeah, Huffer hits shade. for four. Yeah. He's You've got seen Keeper the Grove, right? Yeah, he's right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hello, mate. <laughs> so, how are you doing? All right. So we might not even see this high main come down this game. He might just be going like Argent Horse Rider, Hero Power, into like Kill Command, Hero Power. Yeah, just try to get yeah. the damage in without uh, necessarily using the Beast Synergy. It's not necessary, although if he does pick up an Owl on turn 7, because uh, that's turn 6 with the Horse Rider, Hero Power, yeah. it's all going to come down to what Oskaka ends up doing, because he's got the option of just dropping Fell Reaver, trading, say, the Panther away, and killing the Hound. Um, He's got the safe line too, with yeah. just setting up uh, Bear Force One to taunt it up. Bear Force One? <laughs> That's a really cool name! <laughs> That's a good name, I like it. Oh, it's his second yeah. Hymen here. I, th I think uh, Lothar can take one turn off to just uh, develop the Hymen. It's sure. really hard for uh, Druid to kill it, although here well, on he's board got an it kind of just died. Yeah, yeah well, well, then you don't take 10 to the face and you still just like... Okay. It yeah, does buy it, time. It's weakened and you also get to kill it with Horse Rider afterwards sure. in the worst case scenario. And oh it, man, he's going to be so happy to see the Savage War gone, but little does he know, <laughs> Innervate here would actually kill him. Right. Oh, that's a good draw. Now we can develop both the Druid and, Close enough and the Leopard kill. now. Sure, sure. Question is if Oskaka just wants to go face for 10 here and uh, just have the high main eat the Druid of the Claw. I think it's a solid line of play here. Owl kill command kills you, but that's yeah. a very, very specific combination. Mm -hmm. So you might not worry about it too much. H Hunter usually just plays one owl, uh, right. and, and some lists even play zero. So I, 
Yeah, I yeah. think you, you can't really afford to play around it here and sure. just go for the setup lethal for next turn with the Savage Roar. Yeah. Yeah. Fell Reaver is supposed to go face. This makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to. Yeah, that's it's, eight it's damage. Made for that. Yeah. Oh. oh. This would have been the play we talked about earlier. If he'd gone full face right now, I think he had the game, but he ends up playing high main last turn if he went uh, horse rider hero power. Then he would have was on the, eight, and then you it's, go. It's just one damage oh, off. Yeah, he would one yeah one that's probably why he didn't do it because he thought about that and he was like, "Yeah, I'm one short." And then Oskaka could also just hero power. Exactly. And then yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's Armor like up. he kind of was forced to have to play the high main because of that. All right, so your play, I mean, you, you kind of have to use horse rider to kill the two one and maybe kill command to kill the two three, and well, then because no, you're still you can't kill the two one. The, the game's only going one more turn, right? So, yeah. like, if you kill the 2-1, it still does 2 damage to you. If you leave it on the board, it does 2 damage But to you. it's a Savage Roar body. Yeah, but the, that, you're not killing for... the Fell Reaver, so... <laughs> yeah, that He's one's... already got Savage Roar bodies. Yeah, but he's not killing you. Like, if it's... the 8-8 stays alive with one Savage Roar... The 8-8 and... and the 2-3 both stay alive, though. No, you kill Commander. You kill Commander. Yeah. Then how do you win the game? Well, he's on 12 health. You've got a high main on board with a Horse Rider. Okay. Okay, okay. I mean, maybe that, you're right. I, maybe not. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. I don't know. Maybe it works out. We're going to see. What does Lothar I, I, think? I don't think it'll work out the way that... Yeah, yeah I like yeah. this. I yeah, like yeah this. I, I like it. This is probably the correct play. Yeah, you got to live on a prayer here. And he's not seeing any roars come out of this mill, so he's probably getting pretty <laughs> sad. <laughs> he's like, Ugh. Yeah, Force of Nature yeah. kills him. Swipe kills him. Second Druid of the Claw kills him. Like, a lot of things. A lot just, of things kill him, yeah. 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 We, we counted last game. There was like 100. <laughs> yeah. Like 12, <laughs> yeah. 12 cards out of 20. So I was talking to Scott. He was like, yeah, I'm just playing my World Championship lineup. Plus, I just added an Aggro Druid to it. And we see that Aggro Druid working out for him here. Yeah. It's Three a pretty good deck. <laughs> Very well, impressive stuff. World champion. World yeah. champion. He's proven it right here. Yeah, 3 0 over Lothar. Um, so that's the first match of Group E. There's a dog in the back. I'm a little distracted. <laughs> um, so, first match of Group E. Next, uh, I think we're going to have uh, Wreckful versus Elki for yeah, the second match of the That's day. an exciting one. Yeah, it's going to be pretty yeah. cool. Um, so, we'll be taking a short break in between. Uh, we might get a skulk on the. Yeah, uh, I think we get him bench. on the couch. Yeah. yeah. Hey, get in there. I'm sure you're tired of interviews at this point, but. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you have not been doing a lot of interviews lately, right? Yeah. All right, so um, I have a question. How do you feel about that boom bot? That's a pretty fortunate boom bot, I'd say. Sometimes lucky. Sometimes lucky, yeah. Okay, yeah. So um, obviously, uh, Agro Druid is kind of a—I don't want to say a new deck because it's been around since the advent of TGT, but it took kind of everyone by surprise, and it's been doing very well. Uh, did you expect to really just three-o somebody with that one deck? Not really. Like I haven't played it too much since I was just playing my BlizzCon decks all the time, preparing with those, but. Uh, I've, it's had some like really, really good results, and it does well in, against pretty much the entire lineup. I think maybe the hunters is like somewhat good versus it, but uh, yeah, the deck's really good, and you know it was really nice that I was able to 3-0 him. Yeah, a good start to a tournament, right? For sure. No information reveal. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I think well, I think the Drew was actually like the biggest information yeah. in my lineup, considering that I just played in a pretty big you, tournament. You're playing the exact same classes as you did in BlizzCon plus a Druid. So yeah, exactly. If, think that people <laughs> right. might take something away from that, but who knows? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Any questions, guys? We might just let you off the hook pretty early since uh, you must be tired of answering questions. Sure. Yeah, uh, I'm like jet lagged from the US. I'm not, I didn't sleep too much last night, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's another match or one or two matches more for this yeah. day no, and no. then I can you, sleep. You, you, just, just one. Just yeah, one yeah, more. Just just one one more. more. You're, you're the world champion, dude. Just one. Yeah. All right, so uh, we'll let you off the hook. You can leave this couch now, uh, if you will. It's up to you. You can yeah, stay here. You can stay. He's you really trying to say get out. All right. If, if he wants to stay, he can. I'll, I'll say it for you. <laughs> so, uh, well, good luck on your next match. Uh, yeah, good luck. Stay Osaka. consistent. All okay. right. So, Elki versus Wreckful will be up next. Uh, I think there's going to be a little announcement with Elki. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for that amazing thing. We'll be taking a short break before we move on. So, uh, yeah. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back for the next match in Sea Story 4.